Hi guys and many thanks for joining me. If you are new here, hi, I'm Kat and I like to talk about crimes and conspiracy theories and all sorts of related stuff. Please don't forget to make sure you hit that big red subscribe button below and also hit the notification bell so you are the first one to know about any new videos I upload. For my returning subscribers and viewers, I would like to thank you all so much for all those lovely comments I always receive from you and for all the support you're showing me. This is what keeps me going. Thank you so much. Uh, today, today I want to talk to you about Chris Watts. I'm not going into a very long video or it might be a long video, but it's not going to be uh, like the usual type of video you are used to watch me doing. Because honestly, all I want to do is just do a venting video on Chris Watts so I, I'm just venting really I didn't want to uh, start doing Chris Watts videos because I don't feel that he deserves this much attention and probably by now everybody knows who Chris Watts is and what he did and uh, I feel um, I feel that he shouldn't be entitled to get this much media attention seriously but before we get started, here is the disclaimer. I do not mean to be disrespectful to anyone I talk about in this video. The video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. The information I collect is from the internet. I compile this information, make a video, and from this you guys are more than welcome to draw your own conclusions. Thank you. So, I don't even know if I can do this honestly. Okay, Chris Watts murdered his whole family. Four-year-old Bella, his child, three-year-old Celeste, his second child, Shannon, his wife, who was at the time 15 weeks pregnant. Do you know what 15 weeks pregnant means? That baby was already fully formed and he killed her and he killed his other two children. Oh my god, honestly, seriously, he is just an idiot. He is a stupid and idiot and narcissistic human being, in my opinion. He doesn't re deserve any respect whatsoever. He doesn't deserve respect. He doesn't deserve attention. He doesn't deserve anything. He doesn't even deserve to be on this earth. He doesn't. He doesn't. His breath is a waste of air. Seriously, his breath is a waste of air. I cannot understand for the life of me. How can someone do that to his whole family? I can't understand. I'm beyond raging. Seriously, I've been seeing this since he first came out. And I can't, I can't even look at any of the videos that are made about him and his family without feeling enraged and without feeling like I just want to cry. Even now I feel the same. I didn't want to talk about him. That's why, that's why I didn't want to make a video about Chris Watts and what he did to his family because it's affecting me really badly. And. And uh, my videos and my cases, they are, they are usually affecting me. But this is one of those which... Oh my God, I can't get it out of my head. I cannot, for the life of me, get it out of my head. I cannot understand that a human being just like you and me can do something so vile. It's disgusting. And I'm hurt. And everybody, I think it's hurt. Of what he did it's wrong it's wrong on so many human levels he doesn't even deserve to be called a human he's worse than animals because even animals look after their their babies and what did he do oh my god he's killing his own family for a woman How can you kill your own family for another peach, so to speak, another peach, you know what I mean, hole, because I can't say uh, any bad words because YouTube might penalize me, but I feel like I want to say only bad words, but 
this is uh, YouTube stopping me from saying it. And um, I'm gonna start with the Netflix documentary. So I think I read an article online when after the Netflix documentary was released on Netflix and uh, I read about his opinion on the documentary and he stated as far as I remember that he feels shame after watching the Netflix documentary so <laughs> okay you feel shame that uh, perhaps I don't know you forgot to wash your face this morning right you feel shame that perhaps you had an argument with your mom or friends or kids and you said some bad stuff about them and you feel shame but how on earth can you feel shame by killing your entire family you murdered your children your wife and your unborn child and you feel shame really how can you feel shame this is this is, has got nothing to do with shame whatsoever this is so big and so wrong it does not have anything to do with shame nothing at all you suffocated your wife I just listened yesterday I just watched yesterday a video and you Chris Watts you suffocated your wife and you washed blood in her eyes and the mascara smearing on her face really you're shoving your kids down oil barrels and you listen and you feel at peace when you hear the sound of the body hitting that oil and you feel shame you feel shame what the hell is wrong with you oh my god you are such a narcissistic asshole really i'm sorry for the bad word but i can't help it that all you can feel is shame seriously you don't feel guilt you don't feel guilt that you murdered your entire family for a new woman is are you not supposed to feel guilt oh look at me i'm chris watts i'm working out because i want to build muscles and tone my body for a flipping woman whose hole is just as my wife's but you know i like hers better so i'm just gonna murder my entire family oh my god it's unbelievable i mean honestly if you if you wanted another woman why didn't you just leave you piece of poo i can't say the other word because again it's offensive but why didn't you just leave you know you could have just left but instead you're doing this and you call yourself a man who the hell does this and they are calling themselves a man oh it's disgusting oh my god it's infuriating really and for those people for those of you out there who dare to say that Shannon was this and Shannon was that and Shannon did this and Shannon did that you know what you are just the same as Chris Watts honestly you are and don't even and you know what another thing please don't even dare to say something bad about Shannon on my channel here if you have something bad to say about her then you know what just just get out of this channel just leave this channel because I don't need this kind of people on my channel okay so yeah thank you I think that Shannon she was the mom who was always there she was the mom who carried in the belly the child which Chris Watts took away the opportunity of having a life. Shannon was the mom who after being buried and having passed away gave birth to that baby which was then later dug out from the shallow grave they were both in. And yes, she did, she did give birth to the baby after she passed away and that's called the coffin birth. It happens because of all the gases that are being released and uh, uh, the process of decomposing pushes the body out so <sighs> I don't even want to think about those investigators who dug out that shallow grave that Shannon and the baby were in
And if you are still here on my channel and you dare say bad things about Shannon, you should be ashamed of yourself. And just, you know, just leave. Just leave. Because I don't want you as my viewer. I don't. And uh, no matter what a person does, there is no justification, nothing in this world whatsoever that can justify what this man did to his family. And for what? And for what? For a woman. And this was all for a woman. You take these lives away. The ones you made them. You take them away. For a woman. For a stupid woman. Oh my God. For a woman. It's unbelievable. To the length some men go. For a peach. Yeah. And he had it all. Chris what? You know what? You had it all. But you couldn't be happy, could you? What more did you want? What more did you want? What? Are you happier now that your, you know, dongle, dongle will rot in jail? And I really do hope it gets chopped off in jail. I seriously do hope it gets chopped off. I hope, I hope you are beaten so much I hope you are beaten and abused so much in that jail, in, the, in prison, that it won't allow you to forget what you did. I hope that every night when you go to bed, when you close your eyes, you dream only about what you did to those beautiful girls, your wife and your unborn baby. And I hope that this is going to disturb you forever. I hope. I hope you will die in jail. And I hope your last image in your head will be when your daughter said to you not to do it, not to kill her. I hope. I hope that this is all you dream of. And I hope this is all you dream about. What did you want? To get your dongle dongle in another pitch? You should have divorced. Easy. It was so simple. Just divorce, for God's sake. A rat changes holes, you know, but in the end, all, all those holes are just that. Holes. The same holes. You know, holes. The same holes. It goes in, it gets out. The same thing, really. It's the same. What the hell? Seriously. And don't even tell me that he's actually getting paid for this Netflix documentary. Seriously, I, did, I didn't want to talk about this case. I didn't. Because it's just too much to bear. But when I read this news article that he feels shame after this documentary, I just couldn't keep quiet. I couldn't. The amount of rage I built up since finding out what he did, what happened to Shannon and her daughters, and the unborn baby, is just unbelievable. And you even say that you found Jesus in jail. What? Who the heck finds Jesus after murdering his whole family? You don't even have the right to find Jesus. You are beyond any sort of being allowed to find redemption. You should not be allowed to find redemption. You should feel guilty your whole life for what you did. You should. And honestly, why the hell are all these killers saying they find, they find Jesus and God in jail? So, what? It takes having to kill another human being to find Jesus or God? I, I think this is bull. This is bull. Bull. It is. That's what I think. And then, and then we also have the, the idiot, in my opinion, the other idiot, in my opinion. Nicole Kessinger. Nicole Kessinger. I can't even stand hearing the name anymore or reading about the name or seeing the name and her interview or interrogation. I don't even want to, I don't even know how to call it because that interrogation seemed to me like a more or less a friendly interview rather than an actual interrogation. That's what it seemed to me. And I don't get how, uh, I'm not trying, well, I am trying in a way judge i am trying in a way to judge those investigators because i think that they should be judged in a way because the way that well, what was his name nick yeah the way he handled that investigation i don't think he was very professional and i don't think uh, that's the way uh, an investigator should uh, not investigation sorry interrogation 
I don't think that's the way that uh, an investigator should handle an interrogation of a person who lied so much about everything really she lied so much and now apparently she's gone into hiding and did I read well that she even changed her name I'm not sure about that but anyway <sighs> so interrogation interview whatever it was it was um, an interview or interrogation with her with Nicole Kessinger and she's an adult right she's not a minor so she's not under 18 years old so why why was her dad even allowed to sit in the interview this is what I don't get why did he sit in that interview I mean I know that uh, you know he's uh, her dad and he will always defend her of course because that's the role of a parent really I understand that but he even spoke to the interviewing officer by first name why would you do that unless you were I don't know familiar with him or friendly with him or maybe you were trying to get under his skin I have no idea I have no idea I'm just speculating here because like I said I didn't want to bring myself investigating into this too much because I, I can't do it I'm sorry I can't do it and in the in that same interview it's an interesting thing that Nicole said that if she knew Chris's wife was pregnant she wouldn't have gotten involved with him <laughs> to me this uh, smells a bit in my opinion because I'm I'm doing conspiracy theories as well and some other cases uh, and investigations and in my opinion this this thing that she said that if she knew his wife was pregnant she wouldn't have gotten involved with him this uh, smells a bit like a motive really it smells a bit like a motive to me in my opinion and and that's when his dad got involved when the investigator was asking her that if Shishanen was out of the picture then she would pay attention to him something like something uh, of the likes of that anyway the dad was saying to the to the investigator that he's overreaching that he's uh, what did he call it and obviously at one point the investigator got frustrated but anyway uh, I think that uh, I'm going to uh, put up that um, interview so you can uh, see as well so you can hear as well what is being said because if I'd have known that he had a child on the way I'd have never wasted my time with him in the first place like none of this would ever even occur if you uh, like you just said if I knew he was his wife was pregnant I wouldn't be in this picture so if his wife was not pregnant um, and forgive me but if, if if he takes her out of the picture you're never gonna know that she was pregnant right if she's gone but this don't lead hypothetically please yeah, don't hypothetically, lead on hypothetically if she okay. you understand what, where I'm going if right, you didn't you're, know you're leading into right. questions that are if, nothing with your if you didn't know though wait Nick that she was there did you hear what I said I'm not I'm following you I just want her to answer a question that relates to she said something that's important that if he didn't have a child on the way she, or if he didn't if she didn't know that she would have continued the relationship right so this leads me to believe that perhaps Nicole is not as innocent as she might make it look I uh, have uh, some opinions and uh, I'll be um, saying about those opinions down a bit um, later in the video and um, what I think is that Nicole I think that Nicole actually she wanted to be everything that Shannon wasn't I do think and I think she was uh, sort of a a bit of a stalker if I'm honest with you because she was always uh, you know checking uh, Shannon Shannon's profile on Facebook googling her googling him googling them you know a person doesn't do this unless they are uh, interested or overly interested so to speak in um, a person's personal life this is uh, my view on it and obviously a person does this if she wants to if they want to find some stuff which they wouldn't be able to otherwise and when she when Nicole said uh, I think it was in her first interrogation after uh, Chris confessed when she said that uh, she didn't know Chris was married oh 
she didn't know Chris was married. And yet they have so many emails between each other talking about each other and their lust for each other and uh, about his wife and about his kids and then she says that she doesn't uh, she didn't know that Chris was married I mean honestly how how stupid do you have to be to think that people would actually believe that I'm sorry I'm being really blunt today but um, this is what I feel I should be saying okay so I'm hoping I'm not offending anyone but also if people get offended in this scenario I'm not that bothered you know why because it's not because I'm being rude no I'm not being rude because this should not be offending to anyone what I'm saying in this particular video because what he did is unimaginable and there's no excuse whatsoever and there's no justification whatsoever so if you are offended I'm sorry you are offended I'm I'm speaking my mind and I'm pretty sure so many people have the same mind I mean the same ideas as I do some of them speak them out some of them don't it's up to them so I decided in this video I'm just gonna speak out my mind okay so please don't be offended but if you are offended I can't help you with that and I'm sorry and then there's another there's another thing about Nicole that um, she expected her to come first over the kids according to some messages between herself and uh, her friends when apparently she wasn't very happy that uh, Chris is taking good care of the kids I mean so what was this what was Chris supposed to do not take good care of the kids well in the end he didn't take good care of the kids uh, um, and maybe Nicole is happy now I don't know is my view I have no idea but it's my opinion but uh, if you are um, if you are a woman yeah and you are the girlfriend or the mistress or the I don't know the wife of a man who was previously married and or has got kids from a previous relationship then you are an idiot for thinking that you should come first no way this this can't be happening you can't come first and you shouldn't be expected you shouldn't be expecting that from your partner and you shouldn't give him that um, choice you know not the choice but sort of like an ultimatum really either uh, you know I come first and uh, I don't leave you or your kids come first and then you know I'm just going no no you are a vile person if you do that everybody knows everybody knows that a parent a responsible a loving and a good parent puts his kids first no matter what he puts the parent puts the kids first before his own family as in before his mom before his dad before his sister and brother and so on and I think I'm right I don't think I'm overreacting here with anything but this is how it should be when you when you decide that you want to be a partner of another person who already has kids you need to realize and you should agree that that person should put the kids first because that just goes to show that the, the parental responsibility is still there and you should not be so full of yourself as to think that you will come first before those kids oh my god oh my god you know what then you're not a woman I'm honest honestly you are not a woman what kind of woman would expect that you know the kind of woman who is expect who would expect that is the kind of woman who would thrive on breaking up a relationship yes I don't know not home home wrecker no I'm not gonna say home wrecker but in a way yes maybe maybe I don't know I don't know what do you guys think and uh, then uh, I also remember that I've seen um, his first media appearance I think it was on the day that Shannon's friends uh, alerted the authorities that Shannon is missing and uh, it was a media circus over there and um, one of the reporters took an interview with Chris and it was like <laughs> why does he even use that word 
like so much uh, it seems that every third word is like which is so annoying i'm seriously annoyed by that because i can't actually focus at the subject being discussed because there are so many like words in the same sentence oh my god oh I, I can't i can't understand these people who have to use this word like for every second on third or third word in the same phrase I, don't you think that maybe people do not understand what you're saying if you keep using the word like like it's like i'm saying like you know i'm here but like mm, i don't want to like um, drink this coffee because like mm, you know like it's not so sweet there you go did you understand anything i said from this uh, sentence i said no probably not because i went over beyond the point of the actual sentence because i used like so many times in the same sentence it freaks me out it annoys me it doesn't freak me out it frustrates me really i'm sorry it does and yes on the same uh, on the same interview he was so he was even smirking he was even smiling for god's sake you are talking about your miss missing wife and kids and you're smiling are you smiling for the camera or, or what the hell are you so narcissistic that you can't even fake in front of the camera seriously oh my god how can you be smiling when you talk about your missing wife and children which brings my attention to another case i'm working on the madeline mccann case uh, those two people they do the same thing anyway i'm not getting into that in this video uh, i think i'm going to finish ranting ranting and venting uh, about these things and um, lastly my opinion okay my theory so to speak what if nicole she was the one who kept pushing him to leave his wife and kids she probably kept saying oh i have this perfect credit score when she knew well that apparently they were in debt and uh, i have the perfect body because i don't have any children and if you come with me you'll be so happy and you won't have the uh, headache of um, taking care of kids you know all these little hints that when there are so many of them it makes the other person think you know i'm thinking that might be one or what if she promised him the moon and the stars and the universe if he leaves the kids and shenan that can be another option as well or what if her condition of being with him would have been to stop any contact with them that can be another thing as well like like she uh, wanted to be first over the kids so that can be plausible because he really wanted her yeah so she probably knew and so she played on hi on him and on his desires so to speak or maybe what if in a in a fit of rage he lost control and he killed shenan what if uh, okay let's say shenan was a, a controlling type of person and uh, maybe he uh, was also always um, trying to be the good guy so to say and uh, he was um, holding everything in and he snapped and in a fit of rage he lost control and he killed shenan but then again it doesn't really make sense because as it seems as far as i understand he was planning it so that uh, sounds like premeditated which means that he was thinking uh, about it for a while which makes me think that perhaps shenan uh, not shenan perhaps nicole would give him little tips or hints uh, or ideas and uh, maybe she expected to see if he would go through with it i have no idea so many what ifs but nothing absolutely nothing can justify what he did to shenan celeste bella and baby nico nothing this man doesn't even deserve his name mentioned and here we are everybody's talking about him that surely adds fire to his narcissistic behavior and on the last note i don't only blame him for what he did i also blame his parents i think he was a mama's boy I really do think he was, he is a mama's boy and he liked to be controlled by a woman by yeah by the opposite sex and this behavior and what he did yes you can't blame it on someone else no you can't what he did he's solely responsible for it 
there's no one else to blame for it but the parents in this kind of behaviors i think that they play a very big role in it i really do think i'm sorry if i'm being mean and with uh, nurse, with uh, mama's boys there's there's the type of mama's boys who will always uh, you know, uh, want their moms even when they are married and they have their own family. Sometimes they will put their moms over their own key, over their own kids and their own family, as in wife and children and so on. And then uh, there, are, there are those types of uh, mama's boys like Chris Watts. Look what he did. Nothing justifies his behavior. It's not his parents' fault he did it. But I do think that his behavior over time and his build-ups over time uh, is uh, contributed somehow to he, the way he grew up and to his parents. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't offend anyone with uh, today's video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you. Bye bye.